Hello, beautiful people. What is up? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am currently in the new house. If you didn't see my last vlog, go ahead and go check that out. It's literally just a vlog that doesn't even make sense, but I put it up because there's so many cute little moments I captured of Harper um, right after we moved and being in this house. I think we officially lived here for one whole week, but we're on our second week. I am loving it. We are getting everything ready for baby girl to be here, and it's just been quite the adventure. That's really what it's been. In today's video, I'm going to do you a what's in my hospital bag. I am currently 38 weeks and... I'm 38 weeks, one day pregnant. It is Friday, May 1st today, which, oh my gosh, my induction date is in less than 10 days. We are coming up to the finish line. It's crazy. I don't, I just, it's all happening so fast. Before I give birth, I do want to show you guys what's in my hospital bag, what I'm bringing as a second time mom, what I know they provide me with and all that good stuff. If you guys wanna see what's in my hospital bag, let's keep going. Okay, so we're gonna start off with what's in mine, and then we'll move to baby girls. Here is my hospital bag, yahoo! It's just a duffel bag. Used it with Harper, it worked out great. There's obviously things that are not in here right now that I want to be in there, but they're last minute things I'm gonna have to grab, so. All right, first things first, I have this little thing here. Um, I plan to only be there one night this time instead of two, because I know my hospital is trying to get patients out more quickly because of COVID and all of that. Hopefully I'm only there one night. I have my face wash. This is the Avena Ultra Calming Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Yeah, I'm literally just bringing a face wash because I highly doubt I'm gonna shower while there, and so I still wanna be kind of fresh. Along with my face wash, I'm gonna bring my little, um, I don't know, it's like a silicone face scrubber, but it's just like a little mini one that I usually use in the shower. So that's for my skin. As well for my skin, I'm just bringing my daily hydration overnight face oil. This is the Shea Moisture whatever I've pretty much used it all I'm bringing that because I remember right after my I gave birth with Harper my skin and everything was so dry so I'm bringing this the thing I really just remembered is chapstick I need to bring some chapstick because after I gave birth with Harper I was dehydrated and dry like I said so my lips were so chapped I wonder if they are right now. I can't stand cracky dry lips. That's all I gotta say. I just don't. It's not for me. I'm bringing a brush. This is not my everyday brush. This is just a brush I could throw in there in case I do decide to brush my hair. Deodorant so I don't smell terribly bad if I don't shower, depending on like how long I'm there. If I can shower and everything, then I will. So have a few trongles or I have a few hair ties and a hair clippy because I'm honestly really into throwing my hair up like that. And then also in here, I have some Medela nipple cream because I do recall my nipples wanting to crack, bleed, and die after starting breastfeeding again. And then I'm also gonna throw a toothbrush and toothpaste in here and things like that. Inside my bag, I have a few outfits, nothing cute. Um, I have my watermelon shorts, and these fit me so well right now, but the thing is they're actually high-waisted, and I have to wear them under the belly right now. So right after I give birth, um, I think I wore these, not in the hospital with Harper, but when I got home, and they were just so comfy. They're a silky material. <laughs> they're so comfortable, so stretchy. Whoa. And they're decently long in the back, which I like. Like, my butt cheeks are not going to be hanging out at the hospital. And then along with that, I brought myself just a tank top. 
This one's pink because you know I'm having a girl and it goes with my watermelon shorts. But this one's really stretchy and comfortable and my belly's not going to be small or anything right after. So, um, yeah, comfy. And then my boob can just be whipped in and out of it. So bringing these, I don't know if I'll actually wear these ones, but they're some of my favorite comfortable boy short full underwear bringing these just in case but they do give you the white ones in the hospital I still have mine and those are my absolute favorite so I probably won't even end up wearing these but I'm bringing them as well as this so maybe like right after I give birth or whatever um I'm also bringing like a little going home outfit the thing is I don't know if I'm gonna wear this going home or if I'm gonna wear this instead of the pink tank top if I'm gonna be cold this is just that old navy shirt that if you watch the husband rates my maternity outfits um one of the outfits i wore this and it's just big and long sleeve and comfortable and so hospitals can be cold so i'm bringing a long sleeve either way i don't know why my voice is shaking and i'm out of breath but bear with me <laughs> And then the next thing I am bringing to the hospital are these sweats that are from, I think these are from Urban Outfitters, I think. They're high-waisted as well because it's just, I'm going to be a little poochy afterwards and I like feeling secure around my stomach, so these are high-waisted. The buttons are fake, you don't really have to button them up. And they're just a nice warm jogger sweat. So I can either wear these on the way home or I can wear these in the hospital if I'm cold. I'm really, like, these outfits are just interchangeable. And then I also am bringing this robe. This one is satin and shorter. And it's yellow. And I don't know, I just want to bring this one because I don't really care if it gets ruined or bloody or anything. So I'm just bringing that in case afterwards I don't want to wear clothes or if I do shower, here's the little robe tie. I am also bringing a pair of super comfy long socks. I have a bra in here, but they it doesn't have like underwire or anything. It's like a regular bra material, but comfy. I'm bringing two of those. One of them is a little bit more cozy than the other one this one's a little more cozy I don't know what's on it gross and then I'm bringing it two fresh pairs of super granny panties one little tan one and one little purple one brand new gonna wash them and bring them and they're so not cute but I don't care if they get gross <laughs> oh yeah and then I have a really giant hand sanitizer I'm literally keeping this in my hospital bag don't come near me don't come near my baby nurses when you walk in my room <laughs> hand sanitizer uh, and then of course my wallet because i need my insurance card and my id and all of that good stuff um things i'm gonna throw in here are our laptop because we want to probably watch a movie or a tv show just something in the hospital um obviously we're gonna be so in love and bonding with our new daughter but it is nice like throughout the night if you're awake to put something on really quick or whatever so i'm gonna bring that in the charger i'm gonna bring my camera my camera charger my phone charger and then mm, i will probably bring my own pillow and maybe a blanket and that is really it i'm not going with much I might throw a few protein chips or something in here in case I'm just like starving but last time I was fed pretty well and was pretty happy with everything with that so that is everything that's in my hospital bag okay now for baby girls hospital bag this is also the one I brought for Harper here it is so obviously the first thing you just saw is this nursing pillow I got this with Harper but we used a different one so I have it in the closet actually and it's pink, but I felt like I had to switch it up for this girl that she needed her own little moment. So she has her own boppy coming to the hospital with us. I have three newborn diapers, but I probably won't end up using them because the hospital gives you newborn diapers or at least mine does and use the supplies that they give you. That's also something I wanted to say. The reason you didn't see pads and all of that in there and like 
what is that bottle called that you squeeze and like cleanse yourself I don't know but they give it to you in the hospital my hospital provides all of that stuff and nipple cream and like baby bath stuff they provide all of that so that's why I'm not bringing myself postpartum care I will have some stocked up here and all that but there no and I'll bring a pack of wipes but like I said they have some there and I'll probably just use theirs so this is that kite baby little outfit that I have gotten for her I am obsessed I didn't think it'd come in in time so I just threw this in there last minute and I don't know how big she's going to be and all that so if she can fit into that thought I heard Harper crying if she can fit into this then she's definitely gonna wear this because it's literally the softest material ever it's made out of bamboo it's light it's airy it's so beautiful um yeah but originally I was just going to be bringing her this little sleeper but I think I will probably end up leaving this one here because it's a little bit rougher rougher more rough um but it's super cute I just was gonna bring it just to have an extra sleeper um, this was her coming home outfit. It says, welcome home. I just got this one from Target. And I had a similar little outfit with Harper, so that's why I'm... The little cutesy feet covers. Or you can put it with this top or put this on top. And it as well has the little giraffe on it and it's cute. And these are just a little pair of newborn sockies. A little bit of newborn mittens and some bows in case I do want to put one on her for pictures or whatever or just a really big girly pink bow I love this one I think that it would really go cute with this we'll see I don't know but I'm just bringing it because I'm a girl mom I love being a girl mom it's so fun and then in here we have a swaddle blanket um, really soft one just pink and white polka dots and then this one which is like a muslim swaddle blanket and this one was from i think snuggle me organic as well and it's just like a pretty mauvey color she as well has her own little hand sanitizer in there because this mama is not playing i am gonna bring the cutie pat pacifier for her in case she is a pacifier baby we will try that out and then there is natural cleaning pacifier wipes and that's really it i might bring her snuggle me organic lounger which i can show you guys in just a second so if need to i will also bring this to the hospital but we'll see they have that little bed for them all right well that is it for what is in my hospital bag i'm sure i'm missing things i'm sure people are like that's all you're bringing but yeah i mean i'm a second time mom i know i'm not going to be there long um, if I do need anything, I have people who will drive it to the hospital. So I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that at all. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that if you are also packing a hospital bag with me or about to give birth that you are just doing good. I'm praying and wishing for healthy babies this season and all the love to everyone watching if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join our family giving birth so soon um if you want to follow us on social medias to be maybe notified like right away and stuff go ahead and click our socials in the description box below i hope you're having a beautiful night or day wherever you are and we'll see you in our next video Mwah! bye <laughs>